Good day everyone, my name is Lorenzo Escalor, and I would be the representative of our group to be discussing to you today our research proposal. This video presentation will include the discussion of the title, the background of the study, as well as the objectives and the survey questionnaire. Now without further ado, let's begin. Before we proceed, I would just like to introduce the other researchers responsible for this study, my groupmates Jairo Cornejo and RJ Santiago. So our research is entitled Rate of Plagiarism Among Senior High School Students of Bataan Christian School in Relation to Online Distance Learning. Now, let's quickly break down the title one by one. First, Rate of Plagiarism. Basically, this is talking about the frequency of an individual to resort in the act of plagiarism. Among senior high school students of Bataan Christian School is pertaining to the population or the respondents of the study. In relation to online distance learning is the main field or key factor of the study, meaning it revolves around the concept of plagiarism in the new online setup of education, or what they call now as the new normal. Now, this will be the contents or the flow of the presentation. First, I will be discussing about the introduction slash background of the study. Next will be the objectives of the study. After that, I will be answering why we intend to pursue such study. Then comes the discussion about the sample and the sampling method used. And finally, I'll be talking about the survey questionnaire. Going forward, let's proceed to the introduction slash background of the study. To start off, let's first identify what plagiarism actually means. It is defined as an act of presenting or using someone else's words or ideas and claiming it as your own. In an academic setting, it is a reoccurring practice among students and with the current state of our education today, the threat of plagiarism is even more alarming. Through online education, students can easily access the internet or use any search engine like Google to search for answers regarding their school tasks. No one can stop them because no one can know for sure. That is the backbone of this study. That is what the researchers would like to seek answers for. What is the rate of plagiarism among students, specifically in Bataan Christian School Senior High School Department, who are all currently learning through online classes? Here we have the relevant and related literatures to support the study by facts. On the left side is in the global or worldwide scale, where a national survey has found out that 54% of students admitted to plagiarizing from the internet. 74% admitted to have at least once engaged in serious cheating. And 47% of students believed that the act of cheating was at times ignored. On the right side is the local scale or the Philippine setting, where a particular study conducted by two major universities has found out that most, if not all of the student respondents were guilty of plagiarism in various forms. With that being said, these related literatures have given the researchers with enough data and proof to say that plagiarism is indeed still a lingering threat in today's society. Next, I would be discussing the objectives of the study. First and foremost is to determine the rate of plagiarism among the senior high school students of Bataan Christian School. Next is to seek answers and data about the following. Frequency of students to use the internet in finding answers for school tasks. Frequency of students to use this time physical textbooks in finding answers for school tasks the most commonly used type of plagiarism, and the awareness of the students on the consequences of plagiarism. Next is to determine the general implications of the study, and finally to present and share the gathered data. All of these are the goals or the research questions that the researchers are hoping to seek answers for. Now you might ask, why do we intend to pursue such study? I will give you three reasons. 1. It is a contemporary and occurring issue, meaning it is still happening, it is relevant, and it is still significant. 2. It allows us to seek answers regarding plagiarism in online education, 
This basically means acquiring new knowledge about an uncharted and new territory in the form of long-distance learning. And lastly, it can provide useful data and information for students, teachers, future researchers, and even for the school itself. Now we are going to proceed with the sample and the sampling method used. In this particular research, the researchers used random sampling where the respondents are chosen randomly without any interference from the researchers themselves. This is to ensure an unbiased study with an objective point of view. The population of the study will consist of 50 respondents, all from the Senior High School Department of Bataan Christian School, both grades 11 and 12. Finally, I would be discussing the questionnaire of the study. It follows a quantitative survey questionnaire setup. In this study, the researchers specifically used a frequency type Likert scale. Two parameters were incorporated, ranging from never to always, and not fully aware to fully aware. The questionnaire is also separated in three sections, mainly the frequency, uh, the type of plagiarism, and the awareness. The frequency answers how often does the student respondents use either the internet or physical textbooks to answer for school tasks, and how often do they resort into plagiarism. The type of plagiarism tackles about what the most common type of plagiarism is used. And lastly, the awareness is to find out how aware are the students in terms of the consequences of plagiarism. All of the sources of these questions are rooted from the SOP of the study or the statement of the problem. Plans for distribution and retrieval. The researchers are planning to do this either through Messenger, email, or Google Forms, whichever is available and most accessible for the respondent. Since physical distribution of the questionnaire is basically impossible due to our current situation, every process and procedures will be done online and through the internet to ensure everyone's safety. And that's it. Again, my name is Lorenzo Escalar, and this is the end of our research presentation. Thank you, and God bless.